We're coming live from E3, and this is pretty exciting because this is a Star Wars pinball game that you see behind me, and uh, this is the first what Star Wars title that is out on the Nintendo Switch. Tell me about it. Nintendo Switch Star Wars game. Yes, it is called Star Wars Pinball. It is a collection of 19 uh, pinball tables, all digital pinballs created by Zen Studios. Uh, they span the entire... Uh, entire breadth of Star Wars for all the way back from the prequels up through the latest movies. Uh, we have a lot of tables based on movies like episodes four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we have like, uh, that's our solo table. That's our Cal Calrissian Chronicles table. It's all about the history of Lando Calrissian. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna, I, I like Star the Calrissian uh, table here. Uh, big fan of it. So you're gonna play as Childish Landino right here, right? <laughs> well, both. <laughs> it, 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 it's the whole life of, uh, of Calrissian. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start in the new name's year. Lando Calrissian. Childish oh, Landino. My home. <laughs> I hadn't heard that before. But uh, <laughs> this particular one, it goes through his whole, whole life, including the uh, Lando comic book from Marvel uh, that came out a couple Allow years ago. Me. Oh, and that's <laughs> canon too, right? It is. It is. Definitely canon. Yeah. Has Just talking robot. Exactly we have the first talking lobot in, uh, in, a, in a game. Ooh, everybody loves Lobot. I bet you Urza likes the Lobot reference. When do we get to see Lobot? Um, you don't actually see him, you just hear him. Uh, he's in that, that second mission that's based on the comic book. Because the comic book actually tells the origin story of Lobot and, and why he's silent and, you know, what happened to, to him and everything. Uh, you know, we also have stuff from uh, Lando's appearance in, in Rebels. Star Wars Rebels here. Okay. Uh, yep. I watched lots of Rebels. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, Billy Dee Williams did, did the vo voice there. Uh, we have a, a different actor here, but I think he does a nice job of kind of bridging the gap between the two Lando actors. Um, so, would you like to see some of the actual features that make Star Wars pinball kind of three. Um, among you all the other Star Wars droids from smashing themselves? Please show us all the features. All right, I will do that. One cool thing that that you can do is you choose your side, light side or dark side, and everyone playing this game in the world chooses a side. And there's you like have this. To choose dark. You have to choose dark all side. Right, we will be dark there's side. No other choices. So uh, at the moment, because we're not online, you can't really see the kind of tug of war that goes on between the dark side and the light side. Oh, uh, so there's an online element as well. Yeah. Oh, there's lots of online elements. Uh, so this is like kind of a meta game, where uh, everyone playing in the entire world, based on how well they've done, if more people that have chosen the dark side have done well, the dark side, that meter you see is going to be more toward the dark side. Right now, it's all the way to the light because we're offline and we're just the light side. So, uh, <laughs> so of course, the, the light side is winning. There's no internet here at E3. There's no internet here in this booth for sure. But uh, other things that we have online are uh, league play um, and, and galactic tournaments. Those are both like different ways that you can uh, basically test your, your scores against your friends and people you don't know, <laughs> you know? Uh, and we have a uh, Cantina Jukebox which allows you to unlock uh, music as you uh, play through all these tables. Mm -hmm. um, and the career mode is, is pretty cool because uh, there's like more than 50 like different little missions and they're designed so that, uh, you know, a lot of people like pinball but they're not really good at it so they don't actually see everything that a game has to offer. So we'll like give you like a mission that's kind of maybe deep into a game and it's like here, here you go. Uh, you know, fulfill this mission, and then eventually you'll get good enough uh, in your single player mode and you can uh, do well there. Uh, so it, it, is, it does offer uh, a progression. Right now we're uh, two missions out of 30 in, in Operation 1, and then of course it goes down through Operation 5. Uh, these force powers and talents, um, in our Pinball FX3 game, we, we have uh, a feature that uh, lets you kind of get bonuses based on your performances. So like, if, you, if you're really good at hitting balls far, you know, you get a distance bonus. If you hit the bumpers a lot, you can add a bumper bonus. Uh, this is the same kind of idea, but they're all a lot more Star Wars themed. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty early in the game here, so we, we don't have that yet. Uh, because we're dark side, we have a nice Sith holocron yep. there. <laughs> Love the holocron. If you were light side, it would be the more square version. Uh, we also have a table that's all about uh, dark side versus light side. I can show you that one right now. It's called Masters of the Force. I'm looking forward to completing your training. 
in time you will call me so yeah our, our pinball games actually have some degree of story as well which is kind of cool this is beautiful yeah, yeah. look at all that artwork right there we got dooku on the mall so this is definitely more of like a, a clone wars prequel area right uh, here this is a kind of a the Jedi versus Sith is kind of the, the theme of this table. So, so yeah, you know, we have old, old Obi Wan there. So, you know, it's, it's not completely prequel era, but this is our most kind of prequel ish table that we have, I guess. The prequels are the only movies that we don't have adaptations for. Uh, I'm weird. I like to play uh, up close so you can see all the models and everything. Most people play way out. Ah, maybe that's... <laughs> Do, you get a vision of Do you get a vision of Vader when you go up into the, the swamp and the tree? Uh, you know... Maybe? Is that a secret? <laughs> Is that a secret? We're not supposed to know? Uh, it's like a thing you have to unlock no, and you get to play your experience? I personally have not unlocked that. It, it wouldn't surprise me if we do, to be honest. But, uh, so there's lots of hidden, there's a lot of oh, Easter yeah. eggs in the oh, game? Yeah. There's Easter eggs on every table. Uh, I mean, my, my personal favorite, I think, is just uh, The Empire Strikes Back because it's my favorite movie, and it all, I think that we also do a really nice job of uh, kind of encapsulating all the key scenes. Because all these, all these tables also have missions, or, or like, uh, you know, typically about six different things that you need to do, like ramps you need to hit. And there's always like a, a theme. Um, I have not activated a mission right here yet. So I have a personal question for you. There's been this running debate on my channel, okay. and I, I'm going to give you a sentence, and, and you need to react to this sentence with your gut feeling. Okay. All right, you ready for the sentence? Please. Ryan Johnson did nothing wrong. Go. I agree. <laughs> Please don't dislike the video because of that. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Oh, there's a running joke about Ryan Johnson. Everybody keeps talking about it. Uh, I can. I understand why. But yeah. <laughs> so, is there any Last Jedi uh, stuff in this yes. Uh, game? Yes, there is. There are two tables. I will show you some Last Jedi stuff. Uh, we have a table based on the, just the movie itself. Um, and then we have a table based on Octo Island. I, this one's like one of the more kind of chill tables. It's on Luke's Island. Does it have the, the milk? It doesn't have the milk, but it has the porgs. It has... Uh, has porgs? Okay. <laughs> has plenty of porgs. Has Chewie interacting with porgs. Does he eat any of the porgs? I think we kind of, uh, we have some jokes about that. There's a fire. You'll see, a, I think you'll see a fire uh, down here. I that there's place. Chewbacca's, uh, yeah. We'll uh, do this up here. There's Chewie by the fire. He'll pick up porgs. We actually, this particular table uh, at Zen Studios in Budapest, we had uh, an actress get in, in motion capture and just flap her arms around and stuff. And <laughs> she, she motion captured a porg. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, is there a way of uh, expanding the title with new uh, tables and things like that? You know, as you know... Uh the new movie's going to be coming out in the... Sure, the, sure. Uh, this way. There, there are ways to do that. We don't have anything to talk about right now, though, in terms of specifics. Yes. Uh, if we wanted to, we could. All right, fantastic. So there is a, a way of updating, possibly. No, you're not committing to that. It's going to happen, but it's possible. Uh, you know, you can never rule anything out. Uh, but uh, right now, you know, 19 tables is going to keep you occupied for a while. All right, choose the character. What does that mean? Okay, so uh, we just activated a mission. I'll let you do it. Ray, you have to do Ray. You have to do my bay. Ray, all right. What is he doing over there? Is he going to go across the map with his stick? Yeah? Okay. You can see uh, there's like a pond in the middle there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. How come it doesn't have his uh, X-wing in the middle of the pond underwater? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if we knew about that when uh, the game was actually developed. Uh, how long does it take to develop a game like this? I'm just curious. About eight to nine months. Eight to nine months? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so right now the actual mission here, uh, you can see in the upper left, is to uh, convince Luke that we need his help. And we do that by nailing these lanes that light up. 
Uh, so you see all those the blinking lights. That's, this is just typical kind of pinball action. A lot of people play pinball. They just like hit the ball and don't really know what they're doing. But there there is strategy and there's uh, you made the right choice. Thank there's you. a lot of skill in, in in nailing the shots that you need to nail when you nail them. This was also the very first, to my knowledge only, but uh, may maybe not anymore, the very first old Luke uh, 3D character model. Like Master Luke is yeah. what, yeah. Like, like, you know, Last Jedi Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bearded up and all that. Are you excited about the new movie and Absolutely. Palpatine? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I, I cried when I heard that. You cried? That trailer went cry, dude. <laughs> Tell me about the, the trailer making you cry. I want to hear about this. What do you think about? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was like a. I was watching it on uh, my laptop in an Uno pizzeria at, at the Star Wars Celebration on okay. the lunch break in Chicago. Uh, actually, in in uh, Yonkers, New York. Okay. We have one there, uh, and yeah, just the 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 trailer was so great. It it I, I'm I'm like about the same age as Star Wars. I grew up with Star Wars. I I'm. Pretty much as hardcore as this, a fan. Y'all, I know all your guys are <laughs> probably the same level. Yeah, we're all wanting to have a, a backflipping Ray brought into any type of game, you know, where she does a backflip over a ship. Sure. Uh, Ships versus characters type model, you know? That's a. I would love to see that as well. Sure. <laughs> Because it does have, you know, the rumble, the rumble, uh, well, either way you play it, it, it like, feels like a pinball machine. So, yeah, just Choose your skill shot. I'm ready for anything. This one has a nice light. Oh, we got the speeder right there. Yeah, this, uh, most of our, especially our original trilogy tables, they have, they basically tell the whole story. Did he say sand people are the worst? Is that what he said? That's what he said. That's what he says in the movie. <laughs> I hate that when that happens. It seems to always, that's the only thing that ever happens to me in the game is it goes down that uh, yeah. far, far left. Luckily, if you, if it goes down early enough, you, you aren't penalized because you get to shoot again. Ah. How do you control like a tilt in like moving the? Uh, you just flick this, flick the uh, analog stick. Okay. Yeah, it's super easy. Commence primary ignition. Yeah, if anyone wants to get like just a basic feel of what the. Pinball is going to feel like in general. You can download Pinball FX3 right now for your Switch. And uh, we have one free table, and then we have uh, a bunch of other tables too. We have tables based on uh, universal properties. We have a Jaws table. We have uh, uh, Back to the Future, um, Jurassic Park. We also have uh, some Aliens tables. Uh, those are pretty cool. Bethesda games, we have uh, Doom and uh, Fallout and uh, Skyrim. Plus just a lot of cool uh, original tables as well. Well, I wanted to thank you for showing me all of this. I'm really excited about this. And uh, be sure to leave in the comment section if this is something of interest to you. Uh, Star Wars games in general, this one is on Switch. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to Chris Baker of Zen Studios for taking time out to show us uh, the brand new uh, Star Wars game coming to Switch in September, September 13th. Peace out, guys.